heavily trafficked area. But this is what everyone wants, the open floor plan. Absolutely. Hey, Richard. Hi, Kevin. Looks like our rough plumbing's coming right along. We're doing a great job. We got everything roughed in here in the kitchen. It's a good time to talk about the basics of DWV, drain, waste, and vent. Okay. All right, so in this kitchen, we have two kitchen sinks. Over here, there's going to be a beautiful stainless steel right here. And this will be the main sink. Kitchen cabinets will be right here. All right. But now you can see the drain part of it. All right, there'll be a trap right here, and the water will come this way horizontally, and it comes to this T fitting right here. Now, the water turns down and goes this way, and anything below this point is a drain. Okay. And anything above this point is a vent. It should be filled with air. This should have water. Right. Now, this vent is bigger than other vents, so uh, that means other vents are coming into it. Right. This is a main vent stack for this part of the building. So you get the main vent stack right here. This is the future vent for any any fixture that might ever be added to the basement. Say that someday they want to add a bathroom or a basement sink. The vent is in place, and that's code. Uh -huh. And this is for the island sink that's over here. Right. And the, the vent is very important because you've got to make sure that the fixtures can breathe so they don't gurgle, and the sewer gas can leave the building. Okay, and obviously that's this all tracks right. underneath the floor. So here comes that water. Here's the water from the washer over here. And now it comes this way into this drain pipe this way. And it ultimately dives down and leaves to go out to the sewer. Mm -hmm. But we have an island right here. Yes, right, okay. we do. And so stove is on that wall, That's big right. island. And you got a prep sink in here. Right. So now this becomes a new challenge for us because we can't vent it conventionally. We have to use, with local approval by the inspector, a thing called a bow vent. Now, okay. Conventional venting would have been just a pipe going straight up. That's right. Obviously, no one wants that through the right. That's right. We could actually wrap it in rope or wallpaper, but I think it's not going to fly. So here's our sink. Here's our trap. Water comes this way, and this drain is no different than any other. The water goes this way. It connects into our main drain here. But at this point, the vent starts right here, but instead of going up through a wall, it now comes up to the highest point it can just below the countertop, and now it turns. And this now, is the bow part. That's right. And now it dives down below the floor, and now it comes to here, and now it turns horizontally this way, and now this should all be filled with just air, and now it comes up to this point, and that has to be a point that is at least six inches above the flood level, the highest level that water would ever flood over a sink. So 36 inches, you said. That means that if this sink filled up, it's basically at the countertop, right. Right? it would overflow. You want to see it there. Inches. You don't want to be uh, filling the vents. So yeah. 36 is down here, so that's more than six inches. That's perfect. So as long as we have this separate vent and that connection six inches above floodplain, we are good to go? No. Actually, you just let the plumbing me. code and, a, and good plumbing practice wants to have a plumbing system that can run without maintenance for hundreds of years. Well, what's not going to run here? Well, think about what could happen with this bow vent. It was not done correctly. If there was a stoppage somewhere on this drain line here mm -hmm. and water couldn't go this way and the sink would had water coming into it, now the water would try to go this way, but it couldn't. Now it goes this way. What's it going to do? It's not going to flood over the sink. It's going to turn this way. Because this is lower than the sink top. That's right. So now this pipe, which should be filled with air only, will have what? It would be filled with water. And right. if that now gets filled with water, this is a trap. And now you wouldn't have an operational vent. So we don't have a good vent. So if we got something like the plumbing valve? inspectors, The plumbing inspector is looking for one thing on this bow vent, and that is right here. This is a relief drain right here. So this pipe filled with air, if it ever got filled with water, the d water would drain away here to keep this operation. Okay, not supposed to get filled with water, but That's if it right. did, it's got a place to go. That's right. All right, so we've got a place for the drain, we've got a place for the vent, we've got to run water to this island. When's that going right. to happen? Kevin's well underway. We've got PEX for water right here, red and blue for hot and cold. This is the super plastic that we've used before. Yeah. You can fish it up inside the walls. He's already got it run up to the bathroom up above. He's just working on the washer right so now. So we really are in good shape. We're going to make our inspection. I hope so. We always try to. Thank you, Richard.